Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone gestures. As you probably know, the iPhone has a ton of gestures. A lot of them are actually unknown or most people don't even use or take advantage of those gestures that allow you to actually do more with your device and do things kind of easier. So we're starting here with one that will actually just work on any app that you're on ios wherever you have a list of things like this you can see right here we're on safari and we have here a search section where you can search for your tabs and you can do this maybe on your notes or even on your messages if i just tap the status bar right there you can see it will reveal the search section so if i'm here i have a bunch of tabs open all i have to do is just tap on the status bar and it will actually reveal right there the search tab and we're here now on the calculator app with iOS 18. You know that you don't have that button to clear everything because Apple has actually replaced it with this back button. But what you can do instead of just tapping right here a bunch of times to delete something, just tap here the button, hold it, and it will clear everything that you have. While on the lock screen of your device, if you want to see your notifications, you don't actually have to reach here to just bring down the notification center. All you have to do is just swipe up like this and it will show you all the notifications that you have. So as easy as this. So just swipe up here and there you go. You have there your notifications. Now this right here is super useful. Whenever you're on an album on your photos app, you can see you have a back button right there. But if you just don't want to reach for that back button, all you have to do is just swipe down like this and it will take you actually out of that album and bring you back to the list of your albums as easy as that just swipe down and you're good to go now while on safari you can go back and you can also go forward on a website if you just swipe like this so if i just swipe like this it will take me back so i just enter this website right here tap this link maybe tap this other link i can go backwards like this and go forward like this so i don't have to use the arrows or anything i can just move around the website as easy as that so you can see i go out of the website then i don't have to click the link even i just go back here and it takes me back to the website another one here on safari you can just swipe like this to move between tabs as easy as that of course if you're using the bar here at the bottom that's very easy to do you just swipe like this or if you want a new tab you can just swipe wipe as easy as that now if you want to see all of your tabs on safari simply pinch in like this and it takes you to all of your tabs with just one gesture now closing tabs is also very easy you don't have to reach for that small x button you can just swipe like this not the right side just swipe on the left and it's as easy as that you will be able to close the tabs that you have on safari while on imessage if you want to react to a message you don't have to tap and hold here to actually go ahead and react what you can do is simply double tap on a message and you will basically get the same result you can go ahead and just react as easy as that now we are still here on the iMessage app but this will work everywhere on iOS. So when you have the keyboard, if I have the keyboard right here invoked and I just want to see a clean page without the keyboard because I want to see all the messages, all I have to do is just swipe down like this. This will work here on the iMessage, you can see it's very easy to do and it works on other things as well like the notes for example i just swipe down like that and you can just go ahead and remove the keyboard now here's another one on the notes if you just tap right there you can switch between the created date of the note and the edited date is easy as that so of course you will have notes that you have created but most likely you will edit them in the future so if you want to see when it has been created and it when it last has actually been edited you can just go ahead and tap right there at the top on the home screen if i just go ahead and move a widget or an app or anything move it around i can just go ahead and shake my device to undo that so it's actually fairly easy you just shake the device and the undo button will do its thing as you can see it will bring it back to its previous place and it will do this for everything that you move on the home screen now, one of the most useful features, in my opinion, on iOS is reachability. I know a lot of people don't actually use this, but if I'm trying to invoke the control center here, I'm using my iPhone maybe with one hand, I don't have to reach there. If I just bring down the screen, then I can just swipe from here to actually invoke the control center. 
you can see how easy that was because it will basically just bring down everything and now here everything works as it has been at the top right there just swipe down and you're good to go now most likely everyone knows that you can tap and hold here the space bar to move the cursor around but did you know that you can also tap anywhere here and then you can start selecting text so while you're using your keyboard as a trackpad to move the cursor around just tap anywhere and you can start selecting any text you want now one of the coolest things on ios is that you can actually drag things around from one app to another you don't have to go let's say i want to add this picture to the notes go through the share button add it to notes and all that i can just simply drag this from here and i can just swipe up to get out of the app go to the notes here and just release the picture as easy as that you can pretty much do this anywhere like in a browser you see an image you can just drag it place it on one of your notes or maybe send it on a message as easy as that so you can drop things actually drag and drop between your apps on ios now the app switcher on ios is also really interesting and i know a lot of people don't actually use this now when you want to go to the app switcher most likely you swipe up and then you go right here well you will have two different things here when you're on an app you can swipe up to get out of the app and then go to the app switcher but the easy way to do that is just swipe just a bit here just like the, this part and it will actually take you to the app switcher instead of taking you to the home screen now the swipe down feature that i show you guys on an album it will actually work pretty much anywhere on ios everywhere where you see like a card like this one you can just swipe down so if i'm on the app store you can see this it doesn't work but if it's a card like this it will open up with an x button or a back button here you simply just swipe down and it will take you back and a really cool thing on ios if you go to a list of apps or anything that you have that has these letters right here you can actually use those letters and swipe on them to actually quickly move between your apps you can do that there you can do that on the app library as well so if i just swipe there or i just tap one of the letters it will take me directly to the apps starting with that letter and a quick and easy way to go to your last used app simply swipe right here from you can see the left to the right on the bar on the home screen and you can quickly go to your last app and on the home screen maybe a feature that a lot of you have forgotten you can swipe here on the dots if you have a bunch of pages just simply swipe on the dots right here to quickly move between the home pages on your device and when you want to move icons the easy way is to actually go to the edit mode tap and hold one of the icons and then swipe like this to move between pages instead of bringing the app here just swipe like this and you can just go ahead and place your app anywhere you need so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are more than 20 amazing gestures on your iphone that you should know and use on daily basis hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one